Do you wake up with fresh skin but find it oily, shiny and greasy by afternoon? While many assume skin oiliness is related to skin type only, that's not true. In fact, any skin type can experience afternoon grease or excess oil. But what are the solutions? Don't worry, keep watching this video and you will learn how to prevent your skin from getting oily throughout the day. Not only oily skin but other skin types can also produce extra oil when it's dehydrated. Dehydrated skin as a skin condition lacks water content but may still produce oil. In fact, it may overproduce oil to compensate for the lack of moisture in the skin. According to some, when skin is dehydrated, it creates more oil to make up for the missing water. There is no scientific evidence behind that, I know. But if you ask me, I would say it totally makes sense to me. I can explain why. Under each of the pores of your skin, there is a sebaceous gland that produces natural oil or sebum. This sebum helps to keep your skin hydrated. But when your skin loses the natural sebum or oil, your skin tries to compensate it by producing more oil which can cause excess greasiness or oiliness. How to solve this? First check if you have really dehydrated skin and you can do it by doing a simple pinch test at home to determine your skin's hydration levels. Pinch a small portion of your cheek area and leave it. If you notice any wrinkling and if the skin doesn't bounce back after you let it go, then your skin may be dehydrated. To fix your dehydrated skin, you should follow some easy tips like using a gentle cleanser, good night cream, not using harsh products, etc. You can check out my video about dehydrated skin, I'm attaching the link here. When your skin is producing extra oil, Dumping a heavy moisturizer might make it worse. Some people think that because their skin is producing enough oil, they can skip using moisturizers. Don't do that. Using a moisturizer is key to keeping oil production under control. But a heavy one can clog your pores when your skin is producing oil. So if your skin produces excess oil on specific days like humid or sunny days, it's better to use a lighter one on those days. When I say lighter moisturizer, in my mind I always think about gel moisturizers. They are the best ones in the lightweight group. A good option can be Hydrium Green Tea Aqua Soothing Gel from Cosrx. It's light and has the best soothing ingredients like like green tea and centella. Using a lighter moisturizer is far better than not using moisturizer at all, trust me. However, if you have dehydrated skin, using only a lighter moisturizer will not work. Clear it with lightweight serum in that case. The texture of sunscreen can play an important role when you are dealing with greasy skin. There are five types of sunscreens available in the market powdered, lotion, cream, stick, and spray. I never recommend using spray sunscreens although they are pretty lightweight. I always have doubts about their coverage for legit reasons. The powdered ones are also not good for providing enough protection. They are easy to apply, I know, when you are on your makeup, but Again, if the sunscreen is not providing you enough coverage or protection, what's the purpose? So the best option is to use a lotion sunscreen. Lotions are easy to apply generously and evenly, which is essential for sunscreens to work effectively. Cream sunscreens are better too, but they are not lightweight and lotions are lighter in texture than creams. It has a more vicious texture than creams without losing the richness of creams. A good sunscreen lotion can be Neutrogena Clear Face Sunscreen Lotion SPF 55. It's lightweight and non-greasy, so you won't have to worry about it clogging pores or excess shine. It can be tempting to wash your face several times a day to keep your skin looking matte. But trust me when I say doing so can actually backfire. 
when you overwash your face you remove the protective natural oils from your skin as i mentioned natural oils or sebum are necessary to keep your skin hydrated stripping off sebum can leave your skin dry and tight as well because your skin can't produce its own moisture it responds to the dryness by making more oil the more oil you remove from your skin the harder it tries to compensate result shiny face to stop this cycle only wash your face in the morning night and after exercise and if in between you feel like your face is feeling sticky because of excess grease take a cotton pad and dab it on some rose water rub the cotton pad gently on your face and take out the extra oil follow it up with moisturizer and spf i would not recommend using bloating paper or facial mist because i think they're unnecessary so you can save some money by not buying these products i think i mentioned it before and i'm repeating it again i think people don't realize retinol is more than just an anti-aging ingredient retinols are a class of chemical compounds of vitamin a or are chemically related to it they are mostly known for their anti-aging and acne fighting capabilities retinols are divided into four core categories retinal esters retinol retinal dehyde and retinoic acid i think many of you are very familiar with the most popular over-the-counter retinoid named retinol. It's true, retinoids are great as anti-aging ingredient as they produce more collagen, but they also control oil production. Besides increasing collagen production, retinoids help to boost cell turnover too. This process removes layers of dead skin cells that can trap excess sebum. By using retinoids regularly, you can get rid of excess grease. Not only that, but retinoids have also been proven to balance your skin's hydration levels. This may even benefit dehydrated skin by controlling excess production of sebum in your pores. Most retinoids require a prescription from your dermatologist. Still, you can find one over-the-counter like retinol, which also works great. The only downside of using retinoids is the side effects, but with the right approach, you can handle that too. I have made an entire video about starting retinol as a beginner. I'm attaching it here. Do check it out. A good retinal starting serum can be 0.2% retinal in squalane from the ordinary. To help prevent the initial side effects, you can also start with a retinal based night cream. Ole Regenerist Retinal 24 Night Moisturizer can be a good option. In summary, if you follow these tips, you would control the excess shine on your face no matter what skin type you have. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my socials, the handles are given right here. My name is Salmin and I'll catch you on my next one. Until then, ciao!